STAR EXAMS STOLE THE FOCUS AT THE STATE CAPITOL TODAY. TWO REPUBLICANS FILED BILLS IN THE HOUSE AND SENATE THAT WOULD PERMANENTLY CHANGE THE WAY HIGH SCHOOL STUDENTS ARE TESTED TO GRADUATE. KXAN'S RACHEL GLAZER EXPLAINS THE PROPOSED BILLS AND WHY CRITICS ARGUE THIS COULD LEAVE HIGH SCHOOL GRADUATES UNPREPARED FOR THE FUTURE. I go to school every day. Corey Daniels has failed the English 1 and 2 star tests several times. To take it over and over and over again. Any day now, the 18-year-old will get the score from his final retest. Yeah, you come back and you fail it by like five points. It hurts. It hurts really bad. The high school senior says he's passing all of his classes and is otherwise eligible to graduate. There's nothing magical about the STAR exam. In the last legislative session, lawmakers passed a law that allows students who fail up to two of the five STAR tests still get their diploma. That law expires September 1st. The folks at NASA never took a tax or STAR test, <laughs> and yet we muddled our way to the moon. Senator Kel Seliger introduced a bill to make the 2015 measure permanent. Individual graduation committees, or IGCs, give students who struggle with the test but otherwise meet graduation requirements a path to get that diploma. The committee includes their teachers, parents, and counselors. Without a high school diploma, a student cannot attend college. They cannot join the military. They can't get a job. The Texas Association of Business criticized the measure, saying it will lead to students being unprepared for careers or higher education. I, I want to do something and be something. I, I just can't see myself not graduating high school and not going to college. While awaiting the final round of test results, Results. Daniels is working with his IGC so he can graduate in June no matter the score. And that was Rachel Glazer reporting. According to the Texas Education Agency, 2% of high school graduates got their diplomas as the result of consideration by an IGC in 2015.